Hi guys, salut tout le monde. So today we're going to be pronouncing French champagnes or champagne français. If you like those type of videos, I've also pronounced stuff like French pastries, French cities, French fashion brands, etc. So check them out if you want. Okay, so you have champagne, champagne, and then you have vin pétillant, vin pétillant which is sparkling wine. So Champagne is only the sparkling wine that comes from the region Champagne in France. Anything else produced outside of this region cannot be called Champagne. It's called Vin Pétillant, sometimes Vin Mousseux. But Mousseux can also be kind of like negative, kind of like, oh, you know, those cheap sparkling wines, like Le Mousseux. That's how I've heard it my whole life. But some people might say vin mousseux, you know. But today we're going to talk about les champagnes. Le champagne. So it's masculine. First you have boulanger. 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 Then you have tétanger. 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 So you see how we don't pronounce the ER at the end of those two names? It's just E at the end. Boulanger. Tétanger. Next, you have another silent letter is ruinard, ruinard. So you don't pronounce the T at the end, ruinard. And you can hear that the first R at the beginning is a little bit stronger and kind of more pronounced than the second one. Ruinard, R. It's like so subtle, ruinard. Then you have Laurent Perrier, Laurent Perrier, Laurent Perrier. Okay, a lot of R's in this video, right? It's kind of tricky. <laughs> Laurent Perrier. And the last R, again, we don't pronounce it. It's just ER can sometimes be a E sound. Perrier. Just like the drink Perrier, right? That's cool. That's funny, actually. That's another sparkling drink. But it's not champagne, though. <laughs> then you have this one that I hear a lot in, like, hip-hop songs and things like that. It's Dom Perignon. Uh, is Don Pérignon. Don Pérignon. Next is Drapier. 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 Again, with the ER at the end that you, where you don't pronounce the R, is just Drapier. Next is Pommery. 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 The Y is usually pronounced E in French. Pommery. Pommery. But sometimes we speak very fast and kind of slur the words and it can become pommery, pommery, instead of pommery, pommery. Next is vranken, vranken, vranken. Next you have gosse, gosse, gosse. So if you see a double S like that, you know it's pronounced S, right? If it's just one S and two vowels on each side, I mean one vowel on each side, it's pronounced gozé, gozé. But here it's a double S, so it's gossé, gossé. Next you have lançon, lançon, lançon. Again with the nasal sounds, right? Lançon. So A-N is en. And O-N is on. En, on, l'en, son. Okay? I hope you can hear the difference. Next, you have veuve clicot. Veuve clicot. Veuve clicot. So you can hear how we slur words very much. We don't say veuve clicot. It's veuve clicot. Veuve clicot. Next, you have mouette et chandon. Mouette et chandon. So we have the liaison, mouette et chandon. And we pronounce it as if it was just one word, mouette et chandon, chandon. I know that the nasal sounds can be kind of tough sometimes. So it's an is en, en, chan, just like champagne, chan. And then on is on, chandon, mouette et chandon. Okay? Okay, cool. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Uh, this was really fun for me. Actually, I discovered new champagnes I've never tried, like uh, Laurent Perrier or Gosset. I never, I've never tried those. 
I would like to do maybe another video where I talk about sparkling wines maybe because I do like to drink the, those sometimes. So if you're interested, feel free to leave as many comments and as many names you would want me to pronounce next. And I'll go through your comments before the next video. Well, merci d'avoir regardé cette vidéo. Thank you for watching very much and see you next time. Okay, bye bye, salut! Thank you.